Hey everybody, this is the Congress Guy coming back to you with another video. Uh, and we have another treat for you. This is another ultra rare deck. Uh, and this one here is called Golden Sunset. This one was made around 1914. Uh, it is one of five landscape oriented backs that Congress made between 1913 and 1914. Um, I do have another video um, on the Forager, which is another one of the five. Um, I currently have three out of the five decks. Uh, the other one being uh, Gala Day. And I do not have a video of that at this time. The other ones are the Bayou, which I think there's one or two known decks still in existence. And I cannot remember the other one off the top of my head. Evening Glow, I believe, is the other one. Anyway, so we'll go ahead and look at it here. We'll go ahead and look at the front of the box here. So you got the uh, air cushion finish. And we've got a tax stamp, cancel 5-1 of, there's a 3, so 1913 by United States Playing Card Company. Now we'll go ahead and get into this. And look at that. 100 and... 7 to 108 years old. So this deck would probably be considered mint condition. I found this on eBay of all places. And could not believe my eyes when I saw this. So after I purchased it, I went to another um, known Congress collector who has some dealings with a lot of private collectors and I asked him I said hey I said how many of these decks do you think exist now keep in mind I haven't showed him yet and he said that he personally knows through major collectors um, he said there should be at least six of these decks and I came back in the message and said now there's seven and sent him a picture of it so right now we know of seven of these decks still in existence so you got a beautiful glow there, um, beautiful golden sunset, and beautiful gold edges. So gold, gold, gold everywhere. So we'll go ahead and take a look at this. Uh, let's see here. So we have the Capital Joker in beautiful condition. Like I said, this is a practically a mint or near mint deck. Um, we have an extra card, not exactly a card, but a little pamphlet. Uh, bids at auction, copyright 1914. So this will be a 1914 deck. But the stamp is canceled 13. So sometimes it's kind of hard to date these decks. So we have to usually follow copyright dates, patent information, things like that. So United States Playing Card Company, Cincinnati. And then the opposite side of that, Congress playing cards are made to use. Buy Congress cards and use them and add to the pleasure of the game. They're very durable. Considering the low price at which they're sold, we see no reason why players should not gratify their love for the beautiful by using Congress cards when the family gathers for a little social game or when entertaining friends. Top of the line cards of the day, and they are still, still top, top notch cards. So let's take a look at the Ace of Spades real quick. Another US 6G, um, if you have the Hockman Encyclopedia of American Playing Cards. You got the big letters here, kind of like an outline. Congress 606. You got a code down here, 113121Z. Now that Z is not the date code. Um, an actual date code for this one would be T, I believe, for 1914. And then S for 1913. So, once again, look at the shine on those edges. Yeah, this deck's 107 years old. And it still looks like this. So, I'm, I'm you know, blown away every time I even look at this deck, and I haven't handled it much. So, the cards are they're not really sticking together, but they... Uh, they're a little hard to separate at times because, I mean, I think this deck is practically brand new. So, and these are in order. 
But like I said, once again, one of seven known decks. Um, I'm sure there are more, but these are the ones that we can verify in existence out of tens of thousands of these decks that were made. Um, yeah, it's just, it's it's a beautiful card. I mean, almost, I mean, you've got the, I mean, you got like almost like gold ink on the outside of this. You know, it just shines in the light. I mean, it's truly a golden sunset. So, I mean, they used gold ink, um, you know, on lacquers in the 1880s and 90s, all the way up to around 1900. Um, and it looks like they've done it here again. Even, the, I mean, the letters are in gold. Almost kind of looks like the foiling you see today, but it's it's all ink. So just truly a work of art. I mean, that's no other way to describe it. So let's we'll skip ahead a little bit here. Um, I mean, everybody knows what you know standard cards look like. You've got your flesh tones on your court cards. I mean, it's pretty much exactly what you see today in standard courts. So full deck with you know extra card or extra pamphlet the joker it's all here um value wise i'm not even gonna attempt to place a value on it at this time uh given the the extreme rarity of this deck um I, i'm sure it would fetch a very good price and landscape backs are hard to find very hard to find so, I mean, I can't just go into a Facebook group and say, hey, does anybody got a Landscape Congress deck? You know, people are going to look at you like, what the hell are you talking about? There's just, you know, you go into an antique group and somebody might have one, but good luck trying to get it from them. Got a little bit missing from the uh, spade down here on the king. Got a little, I don't know if that's some ink transfer or what, or just part of the printing process. Got a little smudge there. So these cards were probably used a couple times. Maybe. I mean, it's kind of hard to tell. So, we'll give them a quick uh, one time here. Let's see. Who knows when the last time these cards were even done like that. So, beautiful. Now, I mean, you can't... I mean, you can't fan these things. Well, nah. They're a little too gritty, so you can't really fan them. So, I mean, modern collectors wouldn't wouldn't want these to do tricks and stuff with. They're just, I mean, air cushion finish. I mean, you would think you could do that, but, I mean, you probably really have to get some, you know, some oils on your hand and, and, and get those cards moving. Um, but, yeah, this, this is Golden Sunset. Um, one of seven known. Um, ultra rare deck. I mean, we did a top 10 list of hardest Congress decks to find, and you would think with seven left, or even the Forager, which is another video, one of four known, these two didn't make the list. So that tells you what kind of rarefied air we're talking here. I mean, it's it's truly almost a one-of-a-kind deck. Very unique. Um, I'm very fortunate to, to own this deck. So if you guys like this video... Uh, drop a like, leave some comments, I'll answer anything, and uh, please subscribe. Um, you know, I try to post, you know, some of the best decks I have, I uh, try to talk about them, and just want to engage with the community. Uh, let's let's bring the past to the present, and uh, maybe we can all learn something uh, about the history of these cards. So, I appreciate you all watching, and we will see you in the next video. Thank you.